Now it's time to go home and have a Pinocchio. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about I Man. I Man is a 1986 magical world of Disney television release. It is directed by Corey Allen, cinematography by Frank Watts, editing by Lovell S. Ellis, music by Craig Safan, and it's written by Howard Freelander and Ken Paragine. Corey Allen is best known for Rebel Without a Cause, Star Trek The Next Generation, Hill Street Blues, and The Streets of San Francisco. Frank Watts, I cover in the video about the girl who spelled freedom. The link will be in the description. Lovell S. Ellis is best known for Run Joe Run, Making It in Hollywood, Macmillan and wife and see the man run. Craig Safan is best known for Cheers, The Last Starfighter, Warning Sign, and Vegas Vacation. Howard Freelander is best known for Dead Man's Gun, Gordon's War, Kung Fu, and this. Ken Paragon is best known for The Monsters Today, Deadly Betrayal, They Came From Outer Space, and this. The film stars Scott Bakula, Ellen Bry, and Joey Kramer. Scott Bakula plays Jeffrey Wilder, and this is his first acting credit. He's most famous for Quantum Leap, American Beauty, Star Trek Enterprise, and Behind the Candelabra. Ellen Bry plays Karen McCorder, and she's best known for Mission Impossible 3, Deep Impact, The Amazing Spider-Man, and The Lost and Found Family. Joey Kramer plays Eric Wilder, and I covered him in the video about Flight of the Navigator. The link will be in the description. The film is about a man named Jeffrey Wilder who accidentally breathes in this space gas from a canister in a NASA van, and it makes him indestructible, meaning if he gets shot or something, he regenerates. So, I man, indestructible man. His son also accidentally breathes in the gas, and apparently his dog also accidentally breathes in the gas. That's a joke at the end, though. But it's about how NASA and the government now want to use him to save the world, pretty much. And it was fun. It was a fun action movie. I was expecting a sci-fi movie because it starts in space. So I was, like, really in for something similar to Flight of the Navigator or, you know, alien-ish. And it just uh, was, like, an action movie with, like, the twist that... He became indestructible because it was from space gas. So it was, it was okay. There is a parent death in the film. Eric's mom has passed away. The helicopter chase was pretty cool, but went on a little too long for my liking. I was like, okay, let's end to this. But not as bad as some previous car chases in movies we know. The stunts were insane. The stunts are just getting better and better. Like some of the stunts that Scott Bakula's character was doing were insane, so. That was really cool. Disney is getting so much better at resolutions. I thought the movie was over and then it had like a little closing resolution scene. And I was like, oh, so nice to actually have this breath and have the resolution. So they're starting to get better at resolutions. And they end on a freeze frame, which is such an 80s thing to do. And I loved it. It was everything. <laughs> That's all I have about I Man. I couldn't find any production information or anything. And I didn't have a lot of notes because it was fine. There was some stuff that I was really proud of Disney, like the resolution and the stunts are getting better. And the story was pretty solid. Um, but otherwise it was fine. It was kind of average, you know, like I didn't hate it by any means. I was entertained and I had a good time. So I think I'll give it like a, like a six space canisters, maybe, or six laser guns, spoiler, out of 10. Our total movie count is, our parent death toll is, <laughs> Our cry count is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching, when follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm on a charge of you are, so you do. And don't be, uh, I don't remember his name, but the guy who's like trying to destroy the world. Yeah, don't be him. This hat is so tall. I look stupid.